<laughs> so I'm Jeffrey Young, I'm a biologist with the David Suzuki Foundation, and I'm going to tell you about some of the really amazing things that are happening with Pacific salmon right now. So we're early into February, and uh, salmon are pretty much all over the place right now. There's literally uh, recently hatched eggs and gravel of small streams and, and lake shores spread all around uh, the coastal British Columbia and into the interior, with the young fish just coming out of that gravel kind of hiding in it for now, but freed from their uh, egg and uh, uh, still having a yolk attached to them and feeding off of that, getting ready to pop out of the gravel when that yolk sac is, is fully absorbed and beginning to feed and move into other habitat in freshwater or out to the ocean in the case of pink and chum salmon. Uh, there's a number, a large number of adult salmon and growing salmon in the ocean itself. and. Uh, when salmon leave streams as, as uh, juveniles, they uh, tend to stay near the coast or migrate quickly up it and then out into the ocean. Some stay close to the coast, so right now there'd be, for example, Chinook and Coho salmon that are growing big, feeding on fish, including other salmon along the coast. The rest of them are moving around the, what's called the Alaska Jar. This is the whole North Pacific, the whole Pacific Rim, essentially. And uh, <clears throat> the gyre moves in a counterclockwise motion, and the salmon essentially hitch a ride. They uh, move out to the ocean and feed on uh, various plankton species, particularly uh, uh, um, essentially small shrimp. Uh, some of them eat uh, other species as well, fish, uh, squid, uh, jellyfish potentially. And right now, some of the fish that would be re returning to rivers near us, like the Fraser River near Vancouver here, uh, would be kind of rounding the corner off of Asia. Uh, the, uh, uh, they'd be uh, busy feeding, getting that last food uh, uh, in their bellies to feed up and get strong, get the, uh, the fat uh, that they'll need to carry them through a migration where they stop feeding. Um, later in the spring, a lot of these species are going to be finally starting to hit the coast. Um, they'll hit the coast off Vancouver Island and further north and move their way down and nose their way into their rivers of origin and spawn uh, in the fall.